Hi, I'm Madame Pamita, and this is Madame Pamita's Parlor of Wonders. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com. All right, I'm going to be showing you now how to dress a vigil candle in the traditional hoodoo style, or root work style, as it's known. Um, first things you need to get this going are a seven-day vigil candle, sometimes called a vigil candle, a church candle, any tall candle encased in glass. Other things that you will need are some herbs that support your work, an herb blend that supports your work. These are, I can make custom blends for you through my shop. If you come to my shop or online, contact me online, I can make a custom blend for the particular thing that you're needing. Also have these candles, but these candles are pretty readily available anywhere. Um, you will also need some oil to dress the candles, some spiritual oil. In this case, we're going to be doing a reconciliation spell. And so I have reconciliation oil. This oil is made by Lucky Mojo and is also available through my shop and online through my shop. Lastly, you'll need some glitter to add to this candle. Since we're going to be working with a reconciliation spell, we're using a pink candle that will sweeten that relationship, make things come back together and be sweet again between you and your beloved. So um, we're working with a pink candle. We're going to work with some pink glitter as well. All right, so you've got all your uh, ingredients assembled, and this is how you do it. First you start out, oh, last thing you need, didn't mention this, something to poke holes into the candle. You're going to do that. I like to use um, this metal chopstick that I, um, uh, I think it's nice and strong. You can use a regular chopstick, you can use a screwdriver, you can use an awl. There's um, many things, but something, you want something that will poke a long skinny hole into the candle wax and do it easily. I like this one because it's nice and sturdy. It's a metal chopstick. So. Um, how you begin is first by poking seven holes around the outside with your chopstick or your um, screwdriver. You're going to poke those holes in a circle and you're going to poke seven holes. So hold that candle and poke seven holes in a clockwise direction. The next thing you're going to want to do is to drop about seven drops of the oil, the spiritual oil that you're going to be using, into those seven holes. Now, it's pretty hard to drop them exactly into the holes, but you're going to do your best to try and get them in there. If you miss or you drop an extra drop or two, that's okay, but just do your best. You don't want to douse it in oil, so you want to do around seven. All right. The next thing you're going to do is put some herbs that support your work. Now, I create herb blends, uh, custom herb blends for special um, conditions, and I make an herb blend for reconciliation. It's made with organic herbs, and you can use that to dress your candles. You can also use it in um, uh, mojo bags and other things as well. But here's my blend, and I'm going to um, take some of those herbs and sprinkle them also in a clockwise direction around the top of that candle. You don't want to put too many herbs and certain herbs are not appropriate because they pop and crackle and can catch on fire but um, put a little bit of this on top and you should be fine. And then lastly you want to give it that extra sort of this is a very traditional hoodoo thing is to put put glitter on top of your candle before you um, uh, bless it and set it. So we're going to sprinkle a little of this dark magenta um, glitter around the top to give it that um, sort of magical sparkle. Last thing you want to do is bless your candle. You focus and concentrate. I like to place my hand over the top of the candle, focusing and concentrating. You can say a prayer. You can say your intention. You can speak it silently to yourself or speak it out loud. And then when you've completed your prayer, take the candle and knock it out against the table three times. Your candle is blessed and ready to light. From that point on, you light your candle. Again, speaking your intention if you like. That me, my beloved and I are reunited 
reconciled and that all is peaceful and harmonious between us. You let that candle burn. Some people like to let vigil candles burn completely if you have a safe place to do it. A nice safe place to do that could be in your bathtub, an empty bathtub, for example, or some place where there's no danger of it catching on something on fire. Or if you like, you can snuff the candle while you leave the house or go to sleep. You can do that by putting a dish or something on top of the candle to snuff that candle out. And then as you relight that candle the next time, you can speak your intention again. Never want to blow out the candle because blowing out the candle will end the work. So just make sure that you snuff the candle by putting a dish or some kind of block on top to block out the oxygen. So that is how you dress a vigil candle in the traditional hoodoo style. My name is Madame Pamita. You can find me online at parlorofwonders.com. Thanks for joining me.